Hey everyone. Um, I've been asked on the Forex Factory forum how I calculate the spectrum and Q spectrum projection lines uh, using my 30 minute data. Uh, I've done videos in the past, but let me do an updated one and just show you the current system. So I've got a timing solution. It's the July 7th build, 2019 and let's open up 30-minute data that I get from MetaTrader 4. So I'm working with the Euro USD. So here we go. And give that a second to load. Load. OK. Yes. And OK. And finally calculate. Okay, so I've got data here through the end of last week, um, August 10th, and we're building a projection line for the current week. Um, so, first step is I go to Spectrum, and I've noticed one little bug. I have to, I should put it in the wish list for Sergey. Um, when I save the setup that I want is it defaults to price bars and I have to go in because I'm using the time setting up here I come over here and go metric time and then recalculate and in terms of the settings here I'm using the RPO using a 100, 200, and 400 set of moving averages and exponential non-lag on the close. Uh, these are the default values here and I'm using um, the last 12 cycles and so now I go ahead and pick out all the peaks and here's the predominant peak right here so we'll just click that and I like to balance left and right and sort of stop somewhere around in here. I'm going to just click all these peaks. So I don't like to uh, get too busy a line by choosing 6, 12 hour, 24 hour cycles. And the final one, just to balance this out, is here at 53 days. Okay, once I have these selected, I click the selected button here and do a harmonic box distillation. Okay, and I've pointed out in the past how I'll check to see that the curve looks good on the, the most recent week, and it looks pretty good here. So I'm going to not adjust these values in here with these sliders. I'm going to leave this alone and minimize this, minimize this, and then bring the, the curve up. And I clicked and dragged to zoom in, and here's the a peak for the week. Okay. So um, here's what I posted on Forex Factory on August 9th, and outlook for next week. And I used that Q spectrum. I'm sorry, uh, spectrum line here, and then. I also ran a Q spectrum, which I'll go through in a second. And one final, um, I noticed that Mars was in the clear this week, so I added in a Mars uh, six harmonic phase study. So let's do that. So now I'm going to click Q spectrum. And again, I'm using metric of time. RPO is set to 100, 200, and 400 exponential non-lag on the close. Everything else is default. So I'm going to hit calculate. 
I want to point out also that I'm using 10,000 30-minute bars, which is 10 months of data here, and 10,036 to be exact. So I try to keep that as a variable that I keep constant. Let me pause the video here while this is calculating. I'm going to hit resume just for the end of this, and okay, here we go. Now, notice um, where the spectrum peaks coincide with, or don't, with the Q-spectrum peaks. So uh, this is a really hot one right here. So I'm going to have a beautiful peak on each of the spectrum and the Q-spectrum, so we'll click that. And this one, I'll choose that as well for that green peak. Um, good. And that was it. Uh, these peaks are below this equilibrium line, so I'm going to ignore everything else. And here's where that Q spectrum line is. Okay. And it coincided perfectly with the first spectrum. Um, Finally, let's just launch my astrolog for a second. I notice that Mars, um, back up to Monday, um, had no aspects, was in the clear, the moon wasn't crossing it. It seemed like it was good to go here for adding that in as a composite projection line. So here we go with that one, astronomy come into phase, Mars, and make that double wide. And six harmonic because 0.38 cycles is too, too short, too little. Um, and that gave me 9, 10, 11, great, 7. And 2 is 9, plus 2 is 11, master number. Um, so I have more confidence in that line, and it's showing me the overall trend for the week here, which is down. So the implication on this uptrend until Tuesday is that it will be probably flat, and then we'll take off down from there. So let's see what actually happened here. And here's my mt4 chart for this week so here is um, Monday open let me get rid of that line in New York here it was Sunday evening at 5 p.m. and here's the Tuesday peak right on schedule and pretty flat and here we have Friday present moment right now right here so we have uh, 17 pips plus 126 pips, and um, all projected one week in advance uh, with a miracle of timing solution. So that's it. Have fun. Take care.